Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. I asked them for an example. They're having trouble closing nodes. And if we grab the shape tool, you can see that. But what his problem is, when he welds this together, the nodes are still broken. They're not connected. So what he is, I think he's doing is selecting these broken nodes and going right here to close the nodes and he gets that effect or similar to that effect. So a couple of ways we can do this. If you go to Windows, Dockers, Join, Curves, and that way you can actually select both of them. I've got mine set on a half inch, which is too much. And then we'll select, you could, I could have probably selected all four of them. And now the nodes are connected. But the fastest way and the reason I use it a lot is the Smart Fill tool. The Smart Fill tool is going to fill in that and make a new shape or new object. And now our nodes are connected. So I always suggest people to use the Smart Fill tool. Uh, as long as you don't have a leak, uh, you're, and that's why I draw a rectangle around most objects. So this, you know, closing, you know, uh, joining two nodes is pretty cool up here. This does a better job and you can actually set tolerances so it won't go too far. But think about using the smart fill tool or using the join curve docker. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.